Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Nourish My Soul. My name is Jeff. I'm the lead servant for LA First uh, Filipino Church of the Nazarene. You may join our church every Sunday, 9 a.m., Bracewell or at Wiley Chapel. Here's our fellowship schedule. We are available for our flock every day to nourish their soul. Let's start with the reading of the word. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, January 25, 2021. First Peter 5, 7. Casting all your cares on him because he cares about you. For this morning topic, our title is, I choose to throw its concern toward you. Question, why do we persist in tightly holding on to everything that upsets us, makes us edgy or steers up anxious feelings in our hearts? Could it be that relinquishing is so tough for us because we struggle to completely trust God? Our Heavenly Father loves us affectionately caring for us and watching over us. And he invites us to toss over worry, actually throwing them hard and strong straight into his hands. Just like hurling a rock from the lake shore far out into the deep, wala nang balikan. We throw it where we are not in danger of retrieving it once again. When releasing our worries to God feels tiring. Remembering His character will absolutely help us. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He is kind and holy and all-powerful. And, and in His great love for us, He desires that we live life without an 80-pound sack of worries on our back. We can entrust everything to Him and experience freedom from all that troubles us. Instead of holding on to all that troubles us, let's cling tightly to His goodness, His love, His hope, His joy, and His peace. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Let us pray. Lord, please teach me not to hold on to all that frustrates me, makes me uneasy, or stirs up anxiety in my heart. Right now, I choose to throw each concern toward you, and trusting them in their sovereign care once and for all. When I struggle to release my cares to you, Please give me grace to entrust you. Help me not to take them back, but entrust everything that concerns me to you, knowing you are good and kind and all-powerful. Prompt me by your spirit, and the moment I am tempted to retrieve my any worry or concern, thank you for carrying all I cannot. Thank you for loving me, caring for me, and watching over me. Thank you for enabling me to live in your very real peace. In Jesus' name. Lord, we, we pray, Lord God, for COVID-19 to stop, Lord God. Every day, we will not stop, Lord God, asking for your help. Heal he healed this world, Lord God, with this pandemic. Lord, we pray that the vaccines will be very effective and it will help a lot of people. Lord, we lift up to you, Brother Bong. We, we ask for complete healing for Brother Bong. We pray for Shella Torres uh, for her third chemo, that it would be very successful and complete healing for her. 
We pray for a job for Sister Len Bermudo. Provide for her, Lord God. Give her a new job. We pray for complete healing for Mami Letty uh, in uh, San Antonio, Texas, uh, the mother of May Bondok. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you completely heal her right now. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I'm, I'm a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me. That you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I hope that you pray that uh, prayer of salvation and accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior today. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And amen. Amen. God bless you. Happy Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.